my marvelous muses. How are we doing tonight, guys? So we are making tonight is new mold Monday. I got my Keurig K cup mold, and I'm dying to try it. Um, my kitchen is in brown and kind of a teal, teal bluish green and black, and uh, kind of this color. But we're not going to use that color glitter. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up some different colors here. Uh, I'm not even sure what it's going to look like. We're just going to pour it and we're going to hope for the best. Uh, I have brown mica. I have the new Baltic Day resin pigment in sea turtle. And I'm dying to try this stuff. And then I'm going to save a little bit of clear and I'm going to mix some midnight fine glitter in with it. And we're just going to kind of puddle pour all over here and hope for the best. What do I have on here? All right. So I didn't want to, I was going to mix in the mica powder after I poured the resin. I've got 16 ounces of resin mixed up. I hope it's enough. It should be, but I didn't want to have to mix more after. So I've got my cup here, and I'm going to mix a nice multi scoop of this in, and we'll see if we need more. And I think I'm going to put about five ounces of resin in here. Five ounces in here. Let's stick here and we'll see what we got. That's what we're looking like. Let me get it stirred really good here. I think I might need another scoop of mica. Not looking, yeah, looking a little too transparent still. We'll see though. I'm not done stirring it in, so we'll see what it looks like here. Oh, yeah, we're gonna put another scoop in. Sorry, I didn't put it in on camera, but I kind of got my table here full. Don't have no room to sit the mica because we all know mica will go everywhere, and I already got some now on here. I already got some here. I didn't want. Mm. All right. Guess it's not going to matter a whole lot because we're putting it in anyway. But I don't want to control where I put it. be good enough. All right, let me stir this up. Not over the top of my mold so I don't get the mica everywhere. Perfect. All right. Okay, so we got our brown. Now I'm going to pour five ounces of my blue. Shake this up. And I'm assuming this stuff is pretty pigmented. I don't know. I just kind of have a feeling it is. I have a feeling it's probably pretty pigmented. So.
Got to be a nice vibe. Okay. Let's see what we got here. This is a pretty color. Pretty, pretty. I think I need a little tiny bit more, though. Not quite dark enough. There we go. Two more drops. I don't think I need a lot. A tiny bit. Oh yeah. Amazing what a little bit more does. A little bit more here. Perfect. And then we're going to put a couple nice heaping scoops of glitter. I got midnight fine. We're gonna put a couple big, nice big chunky scoops in there because actually we did three, three scoops of glitter. Very pretty. All right. To start with, I'm going to go over here, and I think I'm going to start out, we're going to go down, one side and back up another, okay, same way here. Side back up another, and then here, I'm gonna puddle in the center, puddle in the center here. Oops, not that muddle. There we go. Uh, let's see, we need a little bit more here. We're gonna pour. We're gonna pour a little bit of brown in. here. I don't know what this is going to do. It may just look like a big brown chocolate muddy mess, but I'm kind of just playing here. New mold. Black in. That's our glitter.
that one's full. I don't know why I poured these over these cups because they're not supposed to go over the holes. Right, go take them off. Pretty cool here, guys. I don't really see much blue, huh? <laughs> don't really see a whole lot of blue, unfortunately. Unfortunately, not a lot of blue. Okay. What do we look like here? Yeah, I don't see much blue. I do see brown and black, though, which will be pretty in my kitchen anyway. But I'm kind of wondering if I want to sprinkle some blue glitter. I kind of do. You know, I like my glitter. And I thought, well, what if I just sprinkle some glitter? This and we're gonna go. I don't know if we're even gonna see it. If we even see it or if it'll get covered up by the brown and the black. Center here. All right. So I think this one here. I'm gonna do something to get this to swirl it around. Let these cure guys we'll be back in a few hours to demold and see what we got i'll see you then bye guys oh here let's come down and take a look at them all right here we go guys if they say anywhere close to this i will be thrilled we shall see
All right, I'll bring you back when it's time for demolding. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, we're back. We're going to demold this. Move this stuff out of the way here. Move stuff out of the way. Still just a little bit soft, but it'll. it's good enough we can put it together and see how it's going to look. I like that. It's going to go perfect in my kitchen. Perfect in my kitchen, guys. This is pretty cool. I brought some K-cups so we can see how they fit. Ah, oh, look at that one. That's beautiful. Wow. Gorgeous. Alright, now see, originally I thought these were joined together, but they're not. I've noticed that when I was pouring it, and I over poured it greatly, You're supposed to go this way. Yeah, you're supposed to go that way. Okay. Let me get the others out here. Oh, that's pretty. Got a little bit of the blue. Not a whole lot. I got my brown. I got my black. So cool. Now I know how to pour this. <laughs> I over poured this one, so I'm going to have to probably trim some off. That's alright. I'll let this finish curing. soft. Wait for it to cure all the way so I can put it in my kitchen. So I can put it in my kitchen, guys. Oh, that's pretty. I like that one. Perfect. I'll save these little pieces, too, on the top. I'll save all this stuff. I've got a bucket that I fill them up with. Alright. I'm not going to leave this put together. We're going to put it together to see how it looks, but I'm not going to leave it put together because I want to be able to let it cure the rest of the way, number one. Because it is still quite bendy. It's not sticky or nothing. It's just a little soft because it wouldn't fit in my curing machine. And I put the curing machine over the top of it, which helped greatly. But, it wouldn't fit over all of it. Yeah, it's still too bendy to put it together. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you guys on a pause. 
I'm going to put this underneath the curing machine for a little while longer. And I will come back and film what it looks like when it's put together. I'll take a picture of it up close. We'll show it up close with the Keurig a K cup in it. But I'm actually going to set it like so. Let's see, this one's pretty solid. This one's pretty solid. That one's bendy. And that one's bendy. So we're going to put, I'm going to put these two like so. And I'm going to set the curing machine on it and we're going to cure it for a little while longer. So I'll be back guys when it's done. Bye. Alright guys, it's still not completely cured. But it's pretty close. I've still got a couple here like this one. That one there. These two on the one side are pretty good because I had them under the curing machine. But this other one, these other two I didn't, couldn't fit in there. So they're not completely cured. I mean they're cured but they're still bendy. But here's the top. And there it is. It holds four, eight, sixteen. It holds sixteen K cups. So I'm gonna take it apart, let it finish curing, and then I'm gonna glue it together and put it in my kitchen tomorrow. So but I wanted to get this video up, show you guys what it looks like. Put together. I don't like I said the only thing next time I do it I will be making it in sections and putting it in my carrying machine but because with the humidity as high as it's been here I think that's why uh, my center pieces don't cure as well so all right guys I'll hope everybody is happy healthy safe and blessed I hope your resin cures beautifully your craft projects turn out amazing and I'll see you guys tomorrow night bye